Hi my friends, today we model this part better to be perspective with some interesting features the category is a sheet metal part and the drawing is here I suppose you appreciate how much I work to create all these uh, drawings, my friends. We start with uh, creating half of this part as a sheet metal with dimensions from the drawing. New sheet metal part, new sketch xy plane and we draw some lines the angle is 45 and dimensions are 100 divided by 2 and 70 divided by 2 finish sketch if you take a look at the drawing you see here the thickness 1 millimeter we have to change the thickness from default to one millimeter okay then we apply contour flange with uh, this direction yes okay and the uh, distance is uh, 135 symmetrical okay You see that uh, this uh, bending features are automatically placed. Then we use the tool flange. Inventor waits us for uh, an edge. This is the edge. Then we want to apply this flange 20 is the dimension not 10 and the height is here 11.5 two cuts appear here because we want to have this dimension aligned with this face yes next is this flange the same height 11.5 length of 31 we use again this tool we select this edge we select distance to be 31 then we use this option of offset and i have to select an end or another end i select this one and the offset is zero okay now we apply corner round or fillet of uh, radius 2 applied to all the three flanges corner round is this 
by default is six, but I want to place here two millimeters and I select this edge and this edge. Okay. Then mirror, not from here, but from the 3D model ribbon. We apply mirror, we select the flange, the corner rounds, and the plane XY. Okay, we apply manually corner round of two millimeters to this flange. Good. The part has a, a slot 18, 11, radius 175 and 61 distance between them okay once again we go to 3d model ribbon to place that uh, slot center to center 18 1.75 multiplied by 2 because here is a diameter distance of 11 from this point to here and the other distance is uh, 61 divided by 2. Finish sketch and uh, we use cut the tool cut from the other ribbon. Okay. The other slot is placed at a distance of 75 from this one. We can use rectangular pattern by selecting this cut and using direction, this direction, the other orientation on 75. Okay. We continue with uh, this uh, boss. You see here, it has uh, a cylindrical uh, shape with uh, thread and uh, chamfer. It is placed at six millimeters from the left and five millimeters from up. Dimensions are here. 4.7 is the external diameter. One millimeter, 90 degrees. This chamfer, radius 0 0.5 and 2.7. We select this face. We draw a circle with a diameter of 4.7, then dimensions, this is 5, and the other is 6. Finish sketch, extrude from this uh, ribbon extrude at uh, 2.7 then uh, thread 
whole isometric fall through the part face center and thread this is a fillet you see when you use a, a sheet metal part you have to activate the tool fillet to apply 0 0.5 then we align the next uh, boss to the distance of 60 by using a rectangular pattern we select the hole and the thread and the cylinder direction is this reverted at 60 the other boss is placed at uh, another 64 we select rectangular hole fillet and hole only this direction the other orientation and now we have to place here 60 plus 64 okay chamfer of one millimeter to all three holes okay there are other two bosses on this uh, face with the same dimensions the distance this is 50 and this is 47 let's do this but what is the distance the distance is 93 between them this face circle diameter 4.7 distance 50 to this end and uh, 93 divided by 2 on the other direction finish sketch extrude 2.7 again hole threaded 4 millimeters through the part this is the face this is the center okay fill it here of 0 0.5 okay once again we apply rectangular pattern for placing this other one at 47 rectangular pattern of the extrusion hole and fillet direction is this one the other orientation and we apply 47 okay then chamfers of one okay and now mirror mirror of the whole object uh, 
and we select this plane. Okay. I found two errors. One is uh, why we don't see here a mark of a fully constrained sketch. We don't see. Double click and one dimension needed and that dimension is two millimeters here. Another mistake is about uh, this, the length of the cuts of the slots. Uh, once again we don't have fully constrained sketch. We have to place here the distance of uh, 18. I was in a hurry and I made mistakes. Good. Now we can verify the volume. I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is the same yes good I don't keep the last value because this is it identical now we choose the material and then we eliminate edges and we select default lights now the two must be identical yes they are even if the first one was made by using another procedure that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye